It's Inspirations with Liz Black. I am your host, Liz. And for those of you that don't know, I am black. Well, let me just say more. The national I am black campaign showcases the black community support for public uh, public charter schools. So with me today, I'm so happy because this is the first time I'm meeting her and you all also. Julia Wright, she's a superintendent and principal of Mayor Park Elementary in Houston, Texas. So I, I have to say Ms. Wright, right? Because I just feel like I'm in school when I'm talking to you. You're a superintendent. You're a principal. <laughs> <laughs> so, so tell us, what is this uh, campaign all about? Well, the I Am Black campaign is based on three simple statements. I am black, I support charter, charter schools, and I vote. Um, we are just really concerned this election season to make sure that we get our voices heard and that um, the Biden campaign uh, uh, is aware, you know, that we are here and charter schools are just amazing. Amazing. Now, when I was growing up, we didn't hear a lot about charter schools. So for those that are listening now, charter schools are public schools, right? And they're free to attend? Correct. Charter schools are public schools. We are innovative public schools. Um, we are built and organized just to give students the opportunity to, um, you know, for additional high quality education. We are um, tuition free. We're open to all students. There are 3.3 million students that attend charter schools across the nation. And charter schools employ a little over 200 teachers. Wow. Uh, you know, we don't really know all the details, and that's why I'm so glad that you're on today. You know, we're, we're in the midst of COVID-19 and Black Lives Matter movement. So how do you see the charter schools successfully servicing all the students in the midst of all of this? Well, first, charter schools, um, we – Nationally, nation, uh, nationally, we have about 70% of our kiddos are made up of color. And then nearly 60% of those kids are uh, come from low-income families. They're on free and reduced um, lunch program. So, therefore, these are kiddos that are, are, are targeted and um, really dwell and succeed in charter schools. And COVID-19 really put a damper on some of the outlets that our black and Latino kids had within their actual charters. Um, and then when you go from COVID-19 and not being able to be around family and being in school yeah. and being with friends to now the Black Lives Matter movement, um, it just, it really, as a charter, we were able to really reach out to our kids and just kind of bring them together in, in this really crazy time. Yeah, and and it's so important. They have to feel that there's some normalcy somewhere, right? Absolutely, absolutely, yes. Now, you you created a charter school yourself. This, this school is one that you created. At, yes, so um, they're founding superintendent, and we've been in Houston for 14 years now. Wow! Now, tell me, is it that easy to just say, I want to start a charter school? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> It is so. not. <laughs> <laughs> um, charter schools are regulated. Um, there are quite a few policies that um, we follow just as traditional schools. We do get flexibility um, and more flexibility and just being really innovative in how we deliver our instruction. What I really love just about charters and in my charter is that instead of just educating the child Academically, we're able to focus in on the child as a child and, and as a student and be able to just really watch their social and emotional learning and then just be able to be that partnership with their parents and families yeah. as they're yeah. growing and, and becoming young adults. Well, this is wonderful. The campaign, for those of you just tuning in, is I Am 
Black. We want you all to, you know, do what you can to be a part. I'm here with Julia Wright. She's the superintendent and principal of Mayor Park Elementary School in Houston, Texas. And uh, Ms. Wright, where would we send people? Because I have, you know, teachers that are on and they may be want to they want to be a part of this campaign. How would they be a part? So you, they can go to charterswork.com um, and get a lot of information regarding policy making in their city, in the state, and across the nation. Um, and then also spreading the word, being able to vote, so we get we're able to have more charter schools across the nation. So that's charterswork.com. Charter, so that's C H A R T E R S work wrk.com so you all go over there and check it out so that you could be a part of the campaign especially if you are a teacher or if there's a principal on you know i have a little bit of everybody listening so we want to do what we can to be a part of the campaign and i thank you so much for taking time out uh miss julia wright to be a part of the show today so thank you thank you for thank you for having me it's been a pleasure and you have a great day god bless you and be safe Thank you, you too.